Yo, what's up? My name is Rich. Welcome back to another video. And I don't know why I'm talking fast like I'm some kind of radio host. Maybe because I've been doing one too many podcasts as of lately. So make sure you're checking out the Hustle Ninjas podcast. But anyways, you just purchased your t-shirt equipment. And what's next? Get right into it after this intro. There is no intro. Let's get straight to it. All right, so you bought some t-shirt printing equipment. And now you're at the point where it's like, what are you going to do now? Don't worry, we've all been there, I've been there, everybody's been there. Because sometimes we think purchasing t-shirt printing equipment or any type of printing equipment, just equipment in general for your business, you think it starts generating money. You think that's just the money maker. The money maker comes whenever you put it to use. Now, there's a few different things that's going to help you understand what you're supposed to do next. So I've realized most people come into the printing business blind. We either know one side or the other side. You understand marketing, you know how to make sales, you don't really know how to make the product. And on the other end, a lot of when it comes to the t-shirt space itself is we understand how to make the t-shirts, we know how to print it, we know all the different ways to make it, but we don't necessarily know how to sell it. Well, selling is something you kind of think about a little bit later there's a few things that we need to put in place before we even start selling so for one you want to define your business model what do you want to do most people who buy printing equipment usually wants to start their own brand however they end up being a decorator and a printer a print house for other brands because it's so much easier because you have the equipment to be able to do so now there's nothing wrong with that but are you creatively fulfilling the exact things that you wanted to do and now you end up in the circle of taking all of that additional funds from printing for other businesses and trying to use that investment to print your own brand and your brand's not really getting anywhere now there's nothing wrong with that but a brand is a really long-term play you really got to think about the end goal and work backwards when it comes to a brand and when it comes to printing for other brands it's so easy because you can just pick up and do it because you have the actual equipment now there's nothing wrong with doing both of these business models however it can get really overwhelming so if you're starting off by printing for other businesses at first being a print house you know just printing for a plumbing company or nail shop or you know printing employee t-shirts there's a few things you need to get in line so that you can make your system and process a little bit easier i know it typically goes like this hey how many shirts do you need hey how many colors do you need hey when do you need to buy and you're constantly repeating yourself these same messages over and over now there's one little tool now typically i would tell you go get your own website um start understanding if you want to sell on the marketplace get your own standalone website and stuff like that however i'm not even going to mention that this time there's one little tool that's going to make things really easy google forms hop into your gmail click on those little tabs at the top and create a google form of the exact questions that you ask your customer every single time now your customer can just fill this out and you will automatically receive this in your email as it fills an order coming through. From there, you can go ahead and quote them the price and let them pay the price and you can start working on the order. So this is going to save you a whole lot of time and frustration because I know you guys are constantly asking the same questions over and over. Do you want it on Gildan? Do you want it on Haynes? Do you want it on Next Level? And so forth. So make sure you do something like this to make your life a little easier that way you have at least some kind of system in place because I know for the most of us, whenever we purchase printing equipment, this is the business model that we start off with because it's going to be the easiest one to bring us income in the first place. And now when it comes to income, there's a certain place we can put it, which is North One, a business banking app. So North One is the sponsor for this video and North One is awesome. It makes online banking easy and you can apply and get an account within three minutes. And this is for your business banking. And they are also doing a $5,000 giveaway. All you have to do to join the North One giveaway is click the link down below, fund your account with $50, and you will be automatically entered into the giveaway. North One is awesome for entrepreneurs like us, especially within the clothing retail space, because you can automatically separate all your deposits when it comes to payroll, rent, 
um, your shipping, and also your taxes. I like separating my taxes. You can automatically set so that 25% of all of your deposits go straight to your taxes, which is great, especially if you're self-employed or a full-time entrepreneur, because sometimes we could forget about those things and that can be a headache. Another awesome thing about North One is that it automatically integrates with platforms that I use a lot, which is Shopify and Etsy. And if you watch the channel, I'm pretty sure you probably use that too. North One takes the hassle out of banking so you don't have to walk in and out of the branch. Online banking made easy. Now, while we're on the note of finances, this is a huge struggle after purchasing that initial equipment. Whenever you purchase initial equipment, you will see things like, let's say you bought a vinyl cutter. You need more and more vinyl. You don't necessarily need more vinyl just yet. Things like that are easy to access. You don't necessarily need it on demand just yet. Try to get yourself an order before you start placing more orders on supplies for your actual cutter or printer. Because most of the time, these supplies ship quite quickly. And most of the time, you might even have a local supplier for this. So the reason why I say that is because, of course, you got to purchase your equipment ahead of time because you got to learn how to use it. But when you get it, you're happy and you want to start purchasing more and more supplies for it. Take a break from it because you're going to run through your finances before you can even get through the orders. So make sure you start getting orders in. And then whenever you get an order, order the supplies. Most of the time, supplies takes anywhere between one to three to four days before you get it. And you can fulfill an order as soon as you get the supplies and have the order handed to your customer or shipped to your customer in still a timely manner. So make sure you really keep an eye on your finances because you can burn through it and not even have any type of capital to move forward with your business. And let's say you do have a nice little startup capital, startup budget to purchase maybe even some supplies, and maybe even have more capital to purchase another piece of equipment. Now that we know that we purchased the vinyl cutter, we probably have this little thing in our head, because I have it too, where I'm like, if I purchase this laser engraver, I can probably start making more money because now I can start laser engraving whatever it may be. If I purchase this dye sublimation printer, I can probably start making more money because I can start doing this. Then we end up in that cycle where we're like, ooh, if I purchase this equipment, I'm making more money. I'm purchasing this equipment and I'm making more money. However, it turns out not to be that way because then we are overwhelmed with equipment and we aren't focused on one single product. You know, you don't want to be I hate to say it, they say you don't want to be the jack of all trades and the king of none, right? However, there are print shops that do these things, but it is a gradual growth into it. Don't dive into everything at once. Focus on the product that you are already offering and then start networking. Networking is very important. And when I say networking, I don't necessarily mean finding customers. I say networking, finding people who are on the same path as you. Because sometimes you might have a vinyl cutter, somebody else might have a dye sublimation printer, and you know what? They're missing what you got, and you're missing what they got. And now, this doesn't necessarily mean you send all your customers to them that needs dye sublimation printing and, and back and forth. That also means you can do things like contract printing, all right? So you go ahead and get the pricing from her or him that has the dye sublimation printing. And you ask them, what's the price that you could have that you could still sell to your customers? And then you do the same thing for them. That way you're exchanging your services. However, you guys are both making profit instead of just sending referrals back and forth. So network and see who you can outsource to because outsourcing is going to be much more effective because then you can always focus on your own equipment for now, your own product for now. And whenever the opportunity comes where you need some type of other equipment, you can handle those orders. However, it won't be overwhelming. But when it gets to the point where you're getting an influx of orders where it's coming to a dye sublimation printer that you're contracting out, then you may want to consider if you want to purchase that piece of equipment or not. So don't dive into everything just yet. Just wait it out and get better at what you already got. It's not what you got, it's how you can use it. So make sure you can use it amazingly. That, uh, I wish I used a better word, but amazingly. Now, those are a simple few things that you can think about after you purchase your equipment. Now, a little bit down the road, this is going to be an important thing as well. is reanalyzing everything that you have gone through so that you can see some more growth in your business. Now, go back and think about everything you've paid for, everything you've done, and 
you know, one thing I pay for a lot and is subscriptions. These subscriptions are killing me these days. Uh, I'm not talking about your Hulu, your Disney Plus, your Netflix, but yeah, those are killing me too. However, I'm talking about like your PlayStation or your Canva or your Adobe subscriptions. Do you really need each and every single one? Really go back for the month or the past few months and see which one you have used and how often you've used it. Log into it and see how many items you downloaded, you know? And from there, you can pretty much get an idea of this subscription is worth it to you or not. And now these are going to cut back and give you a little bit more financial cushion so that you can move forward into putting it into something else. And one thing you do really want to analyze is what gave you the most sales, what gave you the most growth, and what really saved you your time. Like now I know you're going to look back and be like, man, those Google Forms really saved my time because I know it did. All right. But anyways, go back and see, like if you went to this marketing event or if you went to some kind of, you know, networking event, if it really gave you some growth in sales. I bet you networking with another printer and somebody within your realm um, with a piece of equipment that you don't have and contracting that type of printing out. I bet you that really gave you a growth in sales. So that might be something whenever you look back and see if you did it and it gave you a growth in sales, it might be something that you wanted to do again. All right. So make sure you reanalyze everything that you've done after you've purchased your first piece of equipment. Make sure you enjoy that your printing equipment and use it not to only make money, but have a little bit of fun. All right. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Comment, like, subscribe. I'm going to see you all next time.